Hey, it's Chessie from Squeegee Inc. and welcome back to Printer's Corner. In this episode, we're going to answer lots of different questions. We've got about ventilation, looking after ourselves in the print studio, using old chemicals and also how we take emulsion off our screens. If you have a question for us, don't forget to use hashtag Printer's Corner and ask the question in our comments or DM or anything like that and I'll try and pick that question up for a future video. Our first question is from Will Dixon and they've asked also very random question but how do you guys deal with the fumes from printing? Assume you keep it well ventilated and run some kind of fume extraction on your dryers. Thanks for the question, Will. That's, that's a really, really interesting topic. And it's something that we've worked really hard on in the studio, making it healthier for us with fumes and things from our printing. Back in the day, we used to do a lot of printing with solvents and they're really, really stinky and you would have to wear a mask. But now we're basically just printing t-shirts for the majority of our work. The ventilation isn't such an issue for us. However, we did actually put a extraction system on top of our conveyor dryer and you can see that in some of our videos. It's basically a flume that I put in and it's attached to a fan on the outside wall and that basically sucks air from the dryer. The reason we did that was because we were printing a lot of discharge ink and discharge ink is very very stinky and it can not be very good for your health basically. So we we're trying to get those kind of fumes out of the studio but we didn't want to have all the windows and doors open which we thought would affect all of our printing with the flashes and curing and stuff. Initially that's why we have that but we've done some changes since then which mean that we don't put the fan on basically we just still have the flume there to guide any excess fumes out but we don't put the the fan on. So the reasons we don't put the fan on anymore are that we've switched to Magnacolors and their discharge ink doesn't have formaldehydes which are the really like, nasty chemical in discharge inks. They hardly smell at all so we didn't really need the extra ventilation with extracting it. Also we found that when we had the fan on it was really difficult to monitor the temperature in the conveyor dryer which meant that we're not always 100% sure that we're getting consistent curing of the water-based inks and or any inks really so that's another reason why we don't have it on. If you're doing solvent printing though just put a mask on, protect yourself, have a well ventilated room. Let us know in the comments anything that you do to keep your studio a little bit more ventilated and just easier to breathe in. But since switching to all the nicer, more environmentally friendly chemicals, we just don't really have to think about that anymore. Another thing that we've done actually is when we're cleaning off Plastol ink, we used to have to use this really horrible cleaner. We switched to Franmar and Easyway now, and they just almost don't smell at all. I think they've even had to add fragrance so you can differentiate which one you're using, but they're much, much easier on the printer and our respiratory system. So they're healthier for us and less aggressive. That's what I'd say. Switch to more environmentally friendly chemicals and you can sidestep this issue of ventilation to some extent. Our second question for this episode is from Percival Stewart. They said, can we restore old emulsions even if it would be expired? I would just completely uh, go by what the manufacturers recommended. If you've got on your tub of emulsion that this expired two or three years ago, I personally wouldn't bother to put the time in figuring out whether you can still use that emulsion because it's such a long-winded process with coating, drying, exposing screens just to find out that it's not exposing properly or not working very well and you might even find that the expired emulsion is actually affecting you during the middle of a print run where it's actually crucial that the emulsion isn't breaking down and ruining some shirts. In my personal opinion, I don't think it's worth exploring. If, however, you're not doing this for customers and you're just doing it in your own time as a hobby, why not put it on a few screens and see if you can get away with it? I mean, if it's just for fun and you're just playing around, then just go for it. But I'm pretty sure that when people are making these emulsions, they're trying to cover their own back and they know 
how long that emulsion lasts for. So they're going to try and guide you onto its expiration dates. I would go from what they're saying. If you guys think that you can use old emulsions and get away with it for years, let me know as well. But I definitely haven't ever tested the boundaries of my emulsion so I don't really know whether you can get away with it. One tactic that I have seen for people who don't want to have expired emulsion in these big pots is actually you can get little I think they're 1 or 1.5 kilogram pots they're, they're quite small and they don't really have an expiration date because they're just one pot photopolymers so you could just actually buy smaller little quantities and make sure that you're using all of the emulsion up at once and not investing in the extra sensitive emulsions that like for example someone like me would use. Ask your screen print supplier like Screen Print World and see what they'd recommend for your setup because there's nothing wrong with being a hobbyist who only does a few screens every few months that's completely fine and don't forget to use our discount code with screen print world which is crp5 to get a little bit of money off your emulsions when it comes to buying them our last question for today's printers corner is from at art and technology and they've asked what solution do you use to remove emulsion this question was asked on one of our TikTok videos. It was basically just a video showing degreasing a screen. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So the, the chemical that we're using at the moment for taking emulsion off our screens is Easy Solve Supra. That's the chemical that we have in our dip tank, which is what we use to take all the emulsion and reclaim our screens. We might even hop over to Franmar at one point because they've got really great environmental credentials that I'd really like to look into. But at the moment, the answer is Easy Solve Supra. To round up this week's Printer's Corner, and the main question was, how we keep our screen printing studio well ventilated. I'm actually going to say that we use more environmentally friendly chemicals and we also have a, f a flume on our conveyor dryer which also helps. Please let us know if you've got any questions for future episodes and don't forget to use hashtag printers corner so I can pick those up and answer your questions in a little bit more depth about screen printing and garment decoration.